What is a PLC? PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. A PLC is a computer specially designed to operate reliably under harsh industrial environments such as extreme temperatures, wet, dry or dusty conditions. It is used to automate industrial processes such as a manufacturing plant's assembly line, an ore processing plant, or a wastewater treatment plant. PLCs share many features of the personal computer you have at home. They both have a power supply, a CPU, central processing unit, inputs and outputs, I.O. memory, and operating software. PLC is much better suited to rough industrial environments. A PLC can be thought of as a rugged digital computer that manages the electromechanical processes of an industrial environment. A PLC can be programmed according to the operational requirement of the process. In the manufacturing industry, there will be a need for reprogramming due to the change in the nature of production. To overcome this difficulty, PLC-based control systems were introduced. We'll first discuss PLC basics before looking at various applications of PLCs. PLC basics PLCs were invented by Dick Morley in 1964. There is a wide range of PLC functions like timing, counting, calculating, comparing, and processing various analog signals. The main advantage of PLC over a hardwired control system is that you can go back and change a PLC after you've programmed it. In a hardwired control system, you're essentially having to rip out wires and start from scratch. Let's look at an example to better understand this advantage. Imagine you have a light connected to a switch. In general, the light operates under two conditions, on and off. Now you are given a task that when you turn on the switch, the light should glow only after 30 seconds. With this hard wired setup, we are stuck. The only way to achieve this is to completely rewire our circuit to add a timing relay. Lot of hassle for a minor change. This is where a PLC comes into the picture which doesn't require any additional wiring and hardware to make sure of a change. Rather it requires a simple change in code programming the PLC to only turn on the light 30 seconds after the switch is turned on. So, by using a PLC it is easy to incorporate multiple inputs and outputs. This is just a simple example. A PLC has the ability to control much larger and more complex processes. How does a PLC work? The working of a PLC can be easily understood as a cyclic scanning method known as the scan cycle. A PLC scan process includes the following steps. The operating system starts cycling and monitoring of time. The CPU starts reading the data from the input module and checks the status of all the inputs. The CPU starts executing the user or application program written in Relay Lad, a logic or any other PLC programming language. Next, the CPU performs all the internal diagnosis and communication tasks. According to the program results, it writes the data into the output module so that all outputs are updated. This process continues as long as the PLC is in run mode. Physical Structure of PLC the structure of a PLC is almost similar to a computer's architecture. 
programmable logic controllers continuously monitors the input values from various input sensing devices, for example flow meter pressure sensor, hardwired signal, etc. and produces corresponding output depending on the nature of production and industry. A typical block diagram of PLC consists of five parts namely Rack or chassis Power supply module Central processing unit CPU Input and output module Communication interface module I hope you liked today's video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting upcoming videos.